Hi, here's our second exponent example problem, so let's see what we have. Suppose that 4 to the x1 is equal to 5, 5 to the x2 is equal to 6, 6 to the x3 is equal to 7, out to 127 to the x124 is equal to 128. What is the product x1 through x124? Ooh, that's a lot of variables. Now, I noticed that both 4 and 128 are powers of 2, so that may come into play. And we'll have to combine and reduce all this information somehow. And since we have so many variables, we'll need to find some kind of systematic way to do that. Now, I notice a possible chain of substitutions where 5 can get substituted in here, 6 can get substituted in here, and so on. And this last substitution would be something substituted in for 127. So let's try a few steps in that direction and see if that gets us somewhere useful. So let's call this first substitution number one, second substitution number two. So for substitution number one, we'll have that four to the x1 to the x2 is equal to six. Using the product rule for nested exponents, we have 4 to the x1, x2 is equal to 6. So that's a good sign. We've basically created a product of x1 and x2, and that seems to get us in the right direction. So let's continue and make the next substitution. Let's substitute this into this third expression. Let's write this as the uh, second substitution, and we'll have that 4 to the x1, x2, x3, equal to 7 and again using the product rule for nested exponents okay so here I'm pretty sure we're on the right track now because by performing this chain of substitutions we're basically tagging an additional variable onto our product here so it looks like if we go out to this last substitution we're gonna have something that looks like 4 to the x1, x2, all the way out to 123 to the x124 is equal to 128. Again, using the product rule, we find this is equal to x224 128. All right, it seems like we're pretty close here. We form this product that we're trying to search for. We have 4 and 128, both of which are powers of the base exponent 2. So let's push it in that direction and substitute 4 for 2 squared. One twenty eight is 2 to the seventh. Great, we have the same uh, exponent base, so the exponents have to be equal. Divide out by 2, gives us our final answer, 7 over 2, choice D. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.